everybody, Dr. Rob here on Facebook Live. Little change in time, Tuesday morning. How are you? Hope all is working great. We're nearing the end of summer. Yes, I know, boo-hoo, the end of summer. But the fact remains, the end of summer does not mean you have to start during the fall and the winter bulking up and putting those extra pounds on your body. Extra fat or fat in general on your body is very deleterious to your health. You probably all look at this because every patient looks at this. This is five pounds of fat. That's it. It even feels like fat. It's mushy. It gives a little film off of it. This is five pounds of fat. I can tell you, this is the most eye-opening model that I have in my office. Patients look at that and they are fixated on that. And I can tell you that none of us want extra fat. And there's different kinds of fat. The fat that I'm most worried about is twofold. Number one, overall fat, body fat composition. We're now talking about body fat. We can talk about obesity, overweight, and somebody who's fit. So as we go through these numbers, overweight is 110% of your ideal body weight. Obese is 130% of your ideal body weight. That doesn't mean a standard body weight. It's all about body composition. So if you're over about 22 to 25% in a male body fat, we'll call it 25 now, we're getting up a little higher, you're obese. If you're over 30 to 32 percent in a woman, you're considered obese. The, a good fit woman should be between 18 and 25. A fit man should be between 12 and 18 percent. Most people don't know those numbers. I can tell you, most people when they come in and I test their body fat, are really off on those numbers. I always tell everybody, if I lose my job, I'll certainly be able to go to the circus because I'm really good at eyeballing body fat. So watch out, you will not win that teddy bear if you bring your date with you. But to speak more to the fat now, literature is really robust on obesity. An article just came out three, four days ago that if you're able to decrease your body fat and get out of obesity, you can avoid 13 different types of cancers. It was in the journal, uh, New England Journal of Medicine. So obesity can cause 13 different types of cancer. Originally, previous study had given it four. They just added nine more. So that's 13 different types of cancer obesity can cause. Other types of fat that we're worried about, the superficial fat, we can get rid of that. I can make you run around the block, do a whole bunch of burpees. It's the visceral fat. The fat that's right by your organs. That fat that lays there, that can infiltrate your organs. That's called lipotoxicity. Fat toxicity. It gets into organs like your heart. So obviously that's a problem. We all know what could happen there. Pancreas, diabetes, liver, fatty liver and the like. So the visceral fat is a problem. That's really hard to get rid of. That takes dieting. That takes 30, 60, 90 days. You can still show me that six pack, but still have high visceral fat. The only test that I know to date that tests for visceral fat, have it in the office, is the in-body. In-body body fat analyzer. So that's a great choice if you ever want to go to a practitioner or come in to get your visceral fat. What about fat? Do, how do we avoid putting it on? Well, we want to stay active, clearly. Keep our stress levels down, but our diet. Big thing, eat fat. Yes, fat is positive, good fat. Avoid trans fat. Good healthy fats like avocados, fish oils, nuts, but nuts raw. Not nuts cooked with canola oil. Raw nuts like almonds, macadamia nuts, sunflower seeds, not a nut, clearly. Those are good choices. But how do we really lay fat down? Sugar. Eating too much sugar. Sugar is a toxin. They just came out with a study that talked about sugar. And they stopped in obese children for nine days. They cut sugar down from 28 to 10 percent. And fructose, fruit sugar, from 12 to 4 percent. And in nine days, they decreased their blood markers for cholesterol and other adverse blood markers by 40 percent. Sugar leads to triglycerides. Sugar leads to triglycerides and fat. Sugar leads to triglycerides, which leads to cholesterol. Sugar is inflammatory. You plaque the cholesterol. So high levels of sugar will lead to fat and adverse health effects. So now we're looking at this. What else do I recommend? Good quality protein. Protein has some fats. However, if you're gonna consume a protein like a bison or a meat, I prefer you to have it breastfed. That's a great choice because it has good fats. So good fats, what are they? Omega-3, omega-6, 
in omega-9. So you got your nines, they come from olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. A little takeaway with olive oil is don't cook with it. I know Johnny over there, Johnny has his Sunday. he does a great job and they cook it up. You have to cook it at a low flame, that olive oil, because that's why it's called extra virgin olive oil, it's cold pressed. Once you heat it up, you change that chemical composition. So for me, olive oil is a better choice and you can spill it, if you will, or add it or drizzle it on specific salads. If you're gonna cook, you want to cook with maybe like a grape seed or a macadamia nut because they have high boiling points. So olive oil is omega-9. Omega-6s are green, so we really want to decrease the amount of omega-6s that we consume. Those omega-6s lead to something called arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is poison, not, not really healthy for our cell membrane. So for us, we don't have to eat any more omega-6s. We've got it in the American diet. Omega-3 to omega-6 really should be in an ideal word about one to one ratio. In our world, omega-3 to omega-6 is one to about 25. So we're all inflamed. Omega-3s, what a great choice. So I recommend everybody consume omega-3s. Omega-3s, you know, clearly flaxseed oil, hemp, walnuts and the like, and fish oils. Fish oils are your best choice of omega-3s, wild fish like salmon, other wild fish, because they convert at a very high level to cell membrane health. So fish oils, EPA and DHA, we went through this once a few weeks ago, EPA more to decrease inflammation, DHA better for cholesterol and cell membrane health. Just remember, if you don't want to carry a few extra of these around, let's change our lifestyle, let's start moving, let's change our diet, and let's take some proper supplements. Let's start with some omega-3s. And the last thing I'll recommend is some probiotics for overall gut health. If you have any questions, you have any uh, requests for future Facebooks, send it out. I should have said it at the beginning, do me a favor. Punch, share. Punch, share. Let's get this health revolution going. Please tell everybody, share it with everybody. We should have 100 shares, that's my goal, at some point at a Facebook Live. If you like what you see, like it. Don't hide it. Let's help with this health revolution. You're not watching this video unless you're concerned about health and helping other people. You're not watching this eating Doritos. I know that right now. So please do me a favor, share it, let me know what you think, and just remember, there is no lottery ticket for health. Always yours in health, Dr. Rob.